Did Elon Musk give his life to Jesus? Let's find out together. But before we watch this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and share this video with someone you love or someone you don't love. It will help you and your chances to get to heaven. I am just kidding. Let's watch this video. <laughs> Close our right. time out here. Yeah, I mean, we're here. We're, you know, the Babylon Bee is a Christian organization, you know, and uh, we're a ministry. Well, they start playing this music. To... Okay. Well, well, how come we're doing the show on a Sunday? Why don't you heathens, gathered? Why aren't you heathens in church? <laughs> exactly. So we have to make it church this right now. This is supposed to be a day of rest. We did Zoom church. To Do, justify. Do you have any idea? Like, God said, <laughs> don't work on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Guys are going straight to hell for this one. Get into the whole Jesus <laughs> rest thing. Okay. Straight to hell. <laughs> this is church. This is church. I, so, okay. So, to make this church, we have to do, we have to make sure. Just, to, We're wondering if you could do us a quick solid. Do us a solid. I love the bad Jesus and be okay, just to let you know, I look at everything they do. Your Lord and Savior. <laughs> what? It's a Stop quick talking. solid oh, and accept good. Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Do us a solid. <laughs> On Real the quick. show. Um, Personal Lord and Savior. It's a quick Just part. do it. Just accept it. Just say the word. Uh, say it. <laughs> say it. You're in. I mean, let's right? just say, like, I agree with the principles that Jesus advocated. I agree um, And th that the... What a, The richest know, man on the world does not care what is on his lip. So awesome. Love that. There are some... some there's great wisdom in what in, in the te teachings of, of Jesus, yeah. uh, and I agree with those teachings. Um, and things like turn the other cheek are are very important because, as opposed to an eye for an eye, um, an eye for an eye leads everyone blind. So I agree. Forgiveness, you know, is important, and I agree. Um, treating people as you would wish to be treated. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Drop Very us important. some scriptures. So it's like a 60, 70 percent. As, yes. <laughs> as Einstein would say, I believe in the God of Spinoza. What the heck is that? <laughs> okay, um, I'm not like the greatest theologian of all time, but I have no idea what that was. I probably should have so, researched it. I did. I'll have my, all my scriptures ready to talk about in a minute, but I forgot to research that. What the heck is that? Leave it a comment below if that if you know what that is without googling it. I got this itch on my nose. Um, but hey, if um, you know, if if, if Jesus is, is uh, saving people, yes. I mean, I, I, I won't stand in his way. You, know, you like, better not. Be I'll be saved. Why not? Sweet. Oh. We did it. Yeah. I think he just said yes. We got him. <laughs> All right. We got him. Uh, really try to be the Holy Spirit. Just kidding. <laughs> Sounds good. Do you want to get baptized or anything? Yeah. <laughs> I was baptized. Oh, okay. All right, so that's it with that. Um, so is it really that easy? Is that all you have to do is just, you just say some sentence and you're in. Where he, all my life, I thought that was it. You just say the words and you're in. You just say, I by lay by Jesus. And then you're in. I th you know, think about the thief on the cross that was on the right. Or was he on the left of Jesus? I don't know, right or left. And the dude was like, hey, we deserve this punishment, but Jesus didn't do nothing. And Jesus turned to him and said, hey, homie, you're with me in paradise today. I like how I said homie. And then in the scriptures, he says paradise. And now I have gangster's paradise playing in my head. Anyways, so that guy's totally in. But it's more than just saying a word. And I don't know Elon's, okay, I'm not trying to be a fruit inspector, but I guess I am because I'm making this video. <laughs> I just am tired of people preaching. Like that is all you have to do is just say stuff out your mouth and you're in. It is more than saying a sentence. It is your heart changing and giving up your life and giving it to Jesus. Then you confess with your mouth. So let's look at some scripture. 
because scripture is good, right? It's oh, it's good. Oh, let's save that one for later. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert. Um, so first John, correction, John 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Okay. And so then we got all scripture is, is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. So then I'm going to get to the spoiler, which is there's this list that is like, hey, man, if you're like doing this, then you're, uh, you're not going to go to heaven. I can already feel the heat coming up my face from making this video. I love everyone. I do. But there's like warnings of like in the Bible was like, hey man, if you're like doing this stuff right here, um, <laughs> you're not gonna go to heaven. So I don't know Elon, and he doesn't know me yet. Um, he hates me now. I think it's really good that the Babylonian bee had this conversation with him, and I hope that they are able to develop an even stronger relationship with them and somewhat show their lives to him. And by their lives and then by their fruit that they're able to share the gospel with Elon. And I don't know if there was a gospel presentation before this interview, after this interview. I haven't watched the whole interview. Mistake by me. I just saw this recently. I'm like, dude, I got to make a video over this. Like, did they actually say what the gospel was? That God died for him. That he was buried and he rose again on the third day. That all of his sins are forgiven. It's a repent. It's an act of repentance that he will become a new creation. I was taught in the past, like all you got to do is say these words and you're in. But it's more than that. It's your heart. Once you truly believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, and you truly accept that, you become a new creation. The old has passed away, and all things are new within yourself. Before I was. A Christian, I used to drink, I used to party, I used to fart, 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 <laughs> I used to do all the bad things, um, really good at it, but I met Jesus Christ, and he changed my life, and I gave my life to him, and I no longer wanted to do those things, and I pray that for Elon, and I pray that for you watching this, if you're watching this, and you're like, man, you know, I'm doing some of these things right here, and I would ask myself or ask yourself, like, are you truly saved? If that's the case, if you could just truly say something and you're in, then what about all the people that are doing all these different things? Um, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So it's two things. It's believing in your heart and then you say the thing. Then there is a transformation that occurs once you do that, you won't want to do certain things anymore. So is Elon saved? Only God and him know that. I pray that ultimately he becomes a new creation. I just have this image of him smoking weed with Joe Rogan I mean, not too long ago. Remember that? So anyways, so I hope that helped someone out there somehow, some way, just some another dude with an opinion on the Internet, just screaming and yelling and making weird jokes. So. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope that you're having a great day and I'll talk to you in the next video.